Ngozika. Ngozika. Come here. Where are you going to? Mama, Mama asked me to fetch water for her from the stream. Ah. And because you are going to the stream, that is why you should expose your backside and womanhood to every urchin and useless boy in the village. What is wrong with what I'm wearing? May ten thunders break your head. Did you hear me? I said, my mother had twisted your neck. And this one that's so speed with which you ask me questions, you call him out. Is that how a decent girl dresses? No. What is going on here? Eh? What is going on here? You are the cause of all this. Yes! You are the cause of all this. You are the one who is bringing up this girl to be a harlot. And soon, you will receive full reward for all your handwork. No, I don't understand. You don't understand. You will not understand. Before long, when strange things start happening here, you will understand. Look at what your daughter is wearing to the stream. No. You should have told her to remove it entirely and go stark naked. Is it because I am all this commotion? It's not a dress. It's not a dress. So, so that thing is a dress. That piece of rag is a dress to you. Hey! Who won Dangozika is like this? Uh, wait! But let her wait for me! go now! Let the demons of Adako Fuma handle her this morning! Ah! Papa is right, too! Papa is right, too! This is that Ngozi we will only attract vultures! Don't mind the, the usual things that call themselves women in this house! Harlots! Prostitutes! Whores! Uh -uh. Before I open my eyes, eh? If you don't go and change that skirt, vultures will use you to celebrate this morning. Did you hear me? Nine. This is not how to bring up children, no. Eh? You're just driving here away. You're just driving here away. And I will drive both of you out of this house if I hear pim from you. That now. Hmm? Respect yourself, no. All you want to do is to drive me out of my husband's house. You know the kind of person you have as a father. Hmm? But you, you will not uh, obey that. Every day is shouting and quarreling. But mama, what was wrong with what I was wearing? Shut is up, it not the same thing my mates wear? Will you shut up your mouth before I twist it for you? If your father says you should not wear such things, then don't wear them. Will something happen to you if you obey him? And where are you going with that skirt and blouse? Since I'm not allowed to wear what others are wearing, and then let me wash it and give it to somebody that can wear it without the whole world screaming down the neighborhood.
Come on, my cop. Who is that girl? Which girl? That one that is searching water and the one with, with the mini skirt. If you know what is good for you, you better keep those lecherous thoughts to yourself. That is Idika's daughter. Which Idika? The same one that lives at the top of the hill. He's not a man to be taken lightly. Eh. Touch his daughter. He will use your privates to prepare the next meal for Kwezumu Chichi. Eh. Eh. Is it too hard that he has that nobody can talk to him? Head. Yes, so <laughs> see you confused my friend so much that he didn't know what to do. He had to throw the ball in your direction. It's a lie. He did not throw that ball. You threw it. Maybe you're right. So, what will it cost you to throw that ball back to me and tell me your name? Let the river you're standing in start drown you. I said you should throw the ball back to me. And I said you should go and drown. What's wrong, don't look for trouble that you cannot handle. Her father, the guy, is very dangerous. Look, even if her father is your father, I'll go from Bano. This small girl has insulted me, and that she must pay for. Then food, 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 haven't you seen it? Uh -huh. It's not that thing that used to carry your chest that makes you shake your waist around. Uh -huh. ooh, 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 ooh. We have seen it. Ah, I'm gonna kill you today. Ah! You see what happened to you? You see what my father will kill you today? You will see. You will see. I told her. Idika, <laughs> didn't you see your daughter? Uh -huh. huh? Didn't you hear me, Idika? Uh -huh. <laughs> didn't you see what somebody did to your daughter? Hey, boy! Huh? He who gathers ant infested firewood calls for the invasion of lizards. Was that what she was wearing when she left this house? If what she wants is to expose her essential parts, boys will continue tearing her. Clothes! <laughs> Is that all you have to say? Eh? Somebody beats up your daughter, <laughs> tore her dress, broke her jerry can, and called you a coward. Eh? And all you, you say is... Uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Somebody did what? Somebody in this village has the inners to call Idika a coward. Idika Mwabaka. 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 Oji Keri, Atakatelo. Who is that person? Who did this to you? Come and show me. Where is the person? Come, come, come. Come and show me. And I saw my back up. I flown up. Where would they go? Go Calabri. I will get my. If I am right, then something is wrong. Hey. I want the young man who did this to my daughter. Which young man? Your son. And if you do not produce him now, then you will know why nobody trifles with Idika. Call him. Call him immediately. Um, Idika, please, let your turn pass him. He just came back from the stream. And he's eating at the back of the house. Please. Papa, he is one of them. Emmanuel, did you have a hand in this? Papa, I swear it's not me. It was written at her address. All I was doing was trying to stop him. My ten ton does. Papa, break your head! Next time you cross my path, you, you will not leave to tell the story. Let's go.
Emmanuel. Hey! Emmanuel. So you want to cause our death, eh? You know that whoever the time goes with Idika ends up in the grave. You want to close this family, Emmanuel? Papa, I swear, I don't have a hand in this. Idika. Ima, wait now. Ima. I don't want to answer me. Please, Ujena, please leave me. I don't want more problems. <laughs> I hear that uh, Edika came to your house yesterday. Ujena, leave me alone. I don't want more trouble. Be on your own. Let me be on my own. Uh, uh, but do you know why that girl did not come to my house? Because she likes me. Look, women, they like strong men. Men that can ruffle them a little. <laughs> I swear. Mm. Look, if that girl, I catch her in the corner, eh? Look, she will lie down and beg me to take her. Look, I could see it in her eyes. That day as I was tearing her dress. You know, you didn't notice. Eh? You didn't notice. Uche, do you know what is your problem? You are so full of yourself that you cannot see beyond your nose. Okay. I hear you. But when it happens, I will tell you. She am full of myself. You know me now. I will tell you. <laughs> I I only want to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to bring father to your house, but I I couldn't take him to um um Uchenna. Yes, Uchenna's house because I don't know the place. I'm sorry, please. Your father could have killed me. But he didn't. I thought I was almost dead when he raised that knife and chased me. <laughs> the father is a violent man, but he doesn't mean bad all the time. Why don't you go and fetch your water? I wonder what will happen if you lose another job. <laughs> <laughs> Father will kill me if I do. <laughs> ah. You're not afraid. Of what? <laughs> Supposing you look up and you see my father coming, what would you do? <laughs> With what I saw yesterday, I would just jump into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> um, will you escort me to the stream? Please. Thank you. <laughs> Mama, go Zika. Where are you going to? My friend Ujuma asked me to come and call her for quiet practice. And it, it is quiet practice you are going to? Dress like that, eh? Like her, Mama. Is it because Papa is not around that you refuse to do anything in this house anymore? Eh? Eh? Udoka, I don't want you to poke nose into this matter. I have not asked for your opinion. Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. You know that thing you are looking for? You will soon find it. Shut up. I've said my own. Ngozi, if it is choir practice that you're going to, dress like that. Make sure you get back before your father. If not, you know what he will do to you when you get back. Yes, Mama. I'll be here, and there will be a witness to that. Shut up and concentrate on what you're doing. Mama, do you know that you're the one spoiling Ngozi Eka? Huh? How? <laughs> anyway, I pray that one day she will fall into my trap, and I will deal with her mercilessly. Deal with her. 
Deal with you. 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 Deal Hey, My father went for a meeting at Ebezi, so I told my mother I was going for choir practice. Huh. Isn't that dangerous? What if she finds out you didn't go for choir practice? How is she going to find out? Will she go to the church? <laughs> you never know with these mothers. <laughs> There's something about you. What? Just holding you like this. This is right. <laughs> Me too. No, Emma, please. Stop. I don't want to get into trouble. You won't get into trouble. I will. I can't control how I feel about you. Okay. Help me. I can't, please. I I have to go home now. My father can come back anytime. Okay. How long now? Let's see you tomorrow. Yes. Oh, come. I will. I'm still thinking about what to do to that backside when I finally lay my hands on it. What are you doing here? <sighs> hey, come on. Are you not happy that a friend is looking out for you? Hey, look. That girl is dangerous. You could run into trouble fraternizing with her. I have not asked for your opinion. My friend, can't you see that I'm obsessed with this girl? I want her. I want to feel her in my arms. I want to feel her scream under me. Do you understand? I want her. And if I ever see her with you again, I'll go and tell her father. I'll tell him that you have been meeting his daughter here. You know what that means now. You know who Idika is. I remember what he did to you the last time. You will see. You will see his boy. Where are you coming from, my friend? Papa, I was coming from quiet practice. And the church is now located in that school compound? No, Papa. I decided to take the shortcut so that I can get home on time. 
If I get home before you, eh? Then you tell me where you went. Yes, Papa. Who Jenna? Who Jenna? Yes, Mama. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Did you not hear my question? How do you want me to answer you now that you not start shouting? Who Jenna? Where are you coming from? I went to the stream. And you tell me if you have become a male water that spends all her time in the stream. Other children are useful to their parents. It is my own that roams all over the place like sheep. I beg you to help me with this compound this morning. Mama, I'm not a child. Is it not children that weed compounds? Mm. And what do men do? Go out when they do desire. And when they come back, they are before waiting for them. Uchen, have you even done any farm work this year? Oh, Mama, if you want a quarrel, it's not from me this evening. God sees you. Uchenna, God sees you. Since the death of your father, you have become your own master. The thought is that refuses to ask for direction ends up in a ditch. I'm shouting on you. I'm shouting. Let the whole world hear my voice. Tomorrow, nobody will say that they did not shout on you. God. God, you are my witness. God. <coughs> I'll use those dresses for you. <laughs> Who owns this? Are these yours? Are these yours? They're not mine, eh? Look, if you don't answer me now, Amadio, I will bend your neck. Are these yours? You have gone dumb, have you? They're my own. Who bought them for you? Eh? Nobody. I bought them myself. How did you get the money? So. Papa! So, Papa! 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 I cannot, I cannot have a prostitute and a liar for a daughter. By the time I finish with you, all those boys who run around you will no longer recognize you. I'm okay, Papa. It's all right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. the things you bought for me. How did he see that? I don't know. Maybe he searched my bag. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't know what to do. My father wants to kill me. I'll run away from home. You won't. <laughs> it will be all right. Mm -hmm. Very soon, I'll get a job in the coal mine. And I'll come back to ask for your hand. Don't worry, it will be all right. Mm. Oh, my body is burning me. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. <coughs> hey. She's really going to be your wife. Why do you jump up when someone walks in? Should I run on to her now? What are you doing here? You're my friend. Are you not? Well, since I can't find my friend at home anymore, and I can't find him any other place, I decided to come and look for him at his love nest. And as sure as the sun rises tomorrow, here you are. Remember I told you that anytime I see you again with this girl, I'm going to tell her father what is going on between you, you, you people. You did not listen, Abby. You know, you know something about such girls? They are dangerous. 
The moment you taste them, they will enter your bloodstream. They are a disease, they are dangerous, and this disease will kill you. Look, and for you, my dear girl, your father will hear this. You can bet on that. After going to give your body to that thing that cost himself, my friend, you're now going home to go and pretend like a, like a good girl, eh? Stay part of my way, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Not so fast. Not until you have satisfied my curiosity. As a man, I've done it to you. Did you enjoy it? Feel me. Look, I'm better than him any day. I can satisfy you more than you can ever imagine. Yeah? Let me go, you pig. Let me go. Come. Look, not until I've touched that thing. I've seen that thing which is under your clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me go, pig. I saw that look in your eyes the other day I thought you were scared. You liked it, eh? And you were provoking me to repeat exactly the same thing. And that is what I would do. You just stupid girl. Ah! Ute! 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 Oh, you're here. I want to talk to you, my son. Mama, what is it? Something came into my ears, and I said I would ask you. I, I heard that you are being seen around the village with uh, Idika's daughter. Is it true? Mama, who is telling you? Answer me, is it true? Am I not old enough to be seen with a girl? That is not the issue. We are talking about Idika's daughter. Idika is the most dangerous man in these our nine villages. Mama, Idika is a human being. <laughs> Emmanuel, one that is deranged. Madness. Don't you know what Idika did to you when you were accused of tearing the daughter's dress? And being the same girl that you have been seen around the village again with. When your father hears about this, what do you think that he will do? Mama, nothing will happen. Mama, listen. In a few weeks' time, I'll be traveling to the miners' quarters to work. And I will make money. And when I make this money, I will come to this village to ask Idika for Nkosika's and the marriage. <laughs> it is a lie. It is a lie. I can see that madness has touched you. Mama, if thinking about settling down is madness, I think I'd rather be mad than anything else.
Tango. What is bothering you? You know, I've been observing you for the past few days now. And I know something is wrong. But what I don't know is what the problem is. Tell me now, eh? I'm your brother. Don't go. Tell me now. Eh? All right. All I know is that whatever that is hidden under the sun must be made known one day. Mark my guy. Nobody has seen you for several days now. What's been happening? <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Since you started running around with Idika's daughter, nobody ever sees you around again. Abby? I've been very busy. Eh, I can see. Anyway, I hear you soon be leaving for the miners' quarters. Yes. Eh. Uh, so, so what's going to happen to Ngozika now? Are you going to take her along? <laughs> Look, you know what? You can leave Ngozika with me. Ngozika and I have a lot in common. Together we are very hot. <laughs> Won't do. I'm not going to die there. I'm only going there to work. And I will come back. I'm finished. My life is finished. Why? Because I'm going to the coal camp? I'm not going to stay there forever. I know it, it will be hard for you, but I'm only going there to look for money so that we can be together forever. <laughs> Don't cry anymore. It will be alright. <laughs> Don't leave me. I can't face my father, please. You haven't done anything wrong. Most times your father means well for you. He just doesn't want it to turn out bad. You don't understand. You don't. I do. I do. It's going to be fine until I come back to do the things I must do. So. <laughs> the matter with you? Huh? Mama? Who did she eat? Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry. What did she eat? Don't worry. Huh? She'll be okay. Are you sure she'll be okay? Yes, yes she'll be alright. What is the matter with you? Young woman, I'm asking you. What is the matter with you? Mama, nothing. 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 And you've been wrecking and spitting all over the place. Huh? Mama, nothing is wrong with me. Ngozika. Look, no woman wretches or vomits or spits all over the place without being touched by a man. So tell me, Ngozika, who touched you? Nobody, Mama. Nobody. Was it the boy? Who went to the miners' quarters? <laughs> you had better tell me. If your father finds out, it will be your death and mine. So you had better tell me so that I'll know what to do. <laughs> Mama. It was, uh, it was Uchenna, obedient son. Mama, he raped me. She didn't give for him more. He, he raped you, too. Yes, Mama. Gosika, why didn't you tell me? Eh? I was afraid of what Papa would do to me. Hey! Jesus. Come on, Mama. Mama. Come Hey, how do you? When you finish staring at the ceiling, you put out the light. Ma, there's something I must tell you before we sleep. What is it? It's about, about our daughter. If it's about sending her to school, tell her a woman is meant to serve the husband and take care of the children, not to go and acquire some foolish uh, ideas that cannot help anybody. It is not that talk, my husband. What is it? Our daughter is pregnant. Eh? Who is pregnant? Our daughter, Ngosika. Hey! Where is the prostitute that does bring a distraction to them? Where is she? Nani. Nani. Please, it is not her fault. She was raped. Raped? By who? Uchenna. Obedia's son. The wife of Umunna, the one that died a year ago. Good morning, sir. Where is your son? Uh, as you are standing, I hope all is well. I said, where is your son? Answer me, woman, before I lose my temper on you. Uchenna. How many do you have? He is inside. Papa! 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 Hey. Just escaped! Hey. Hey. You just escaped! Hey. Nadika, please have mercy! Oh, no, 
Let him know in the God please have mercy. Have mercy! My son had the inners to lay a finger on my daughter. He wants to bring disgrace on Idika's name. He wants to make me a laughing stock in this village. Tell him his she saved him that I did not lay a finger on him. And if both of you want to stay alive in this village, he should come and do the right thing by asking for her hand in marriage. If not, I will make sure both of you see the inside of a grave in a fortnight. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Everybody in this nine villages knows who Idika is. There is no life that is safe in his hand. And into those hands, that you place me. What have I done to deserve all this? Mama, I have not done anything. Why do you want to kill me? I have not me? done anything. Huh? It's not as if she told you that she, she, she did not uh, enjoy it. How? Why is foolishness so heavy inside you? Why are you blinded by stupidity? Please, my son, save your life and mine. Let us go and do what is right. Eh? Ma, if you're talking about marrying her, I won't. Because I'm not ready to marry now. And if I want to marry, it's not Idika's daughter. Ah. Come here. Then you want to send me to my grave? You want to send me to my grave? Please, look down with pity on your border. I have no husband in this village to defend me. You are all that I have. If you don't marry the cast daughter, you and I are dead. Mama, I won't marry her. Eh? And nothing will happen. My in-law, I greet you. Naidika, a good day to you. Where is your son? He went out in the morning. Have you had a talk with him yet? Good. Uh, I gave you a fortnight. A week has passed. I hope you will not make me do the things I'm known as a decafo. My daughter has prepared to move into the husband's home. Tell him I called. And if I do not see him by next Ekemake day, he should buy a coffin and start looking for a piece of land to bury you both. I don't know what to do. What are you going to do about that? It is not what I am going to do about it. But what will happen to you shortly? You heard my father. If he doesn't see you in two days, I can assure you that the vultures will use your meat to do a feast. Now, let me tell you what nobody ever told you and your useless father. Huh? Your father, Edika, is only full of airs. He can do nothing but shout. Huh? After all, your sister wanted it and I gave it to her. She's been busy shining it around to the whole village like a hot pool of Eba. And I took my share. Go and look for who got her pregnant. Oh. 
After all, the man has been sleeping with her every day, and nobody's been worrying him. It's only me who will see. Look, 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 Annie, I must tell you, the sister moves better than an Antilogo dancer. You know, you should try her yourself, and you find out how sweet she is. It's your stupid boy. Stop me again on the road, and I'll blind this your eyes for you. I'll break your head and beat you up. But I'm the only one that's sleeping with all the women, getting all the women in this way pregnant. You know, Mama, your mother, your mother, your mother, your mother. Emma, where are you? Why do you have to leave me now? How are you going to cope? How am I going to be married off to a man that I hate? God, what do I do? <laughs> Never. It will never happen. I am not going to be given away to that animal. Never. Today is the last day Idika gave us. Our life is at an end. If Idika enters here tomorrow, Uchenna, what are we going to say? Oh, Mama, I have told you that I did not get Ngozika pregnant. Emmanuel did. Please leave me alone. If Idika wants to make trouble, I let him make trouble now. After all, what can he do than to carry my chest and scream? You do not know Idika. Everybody in this village is afraid of him. Mm. Do you want to be the cause of her death? If you can sleep with the girl, why can't you marry her? Oh, Mama, leave me alone now.
Nobody try for shoot him. Tika. He the can go go. He the can go anywhere. Nobody. Nobody done. Your time expired today. You and your son have not made any decision yet. Naidika, please give us a little time. <laughs> I will talk with my son. Idika has no time to waste. I've come to remind you that I'm not a man to be trifled with. Idika Wabaka, Otano Yembo, Ojobrakwaka. Maybe after today, your son would have made up his mind. He has made up his mind. Where is he? He has gone out. When he comes back, thus we remind him. I don't know if you can help me. I'm looking for Ima, Emmanuel. Emma? Yes. <laughs> there are a thousand and one uh, Emmanuels here. Yes. Which section is he in? Section. I, I don't know anything about section. All I know is that his name is Emmanuel OBDK. He's tall, fair, and handsome. <laughs> well, all of 
first year are fair, tall and handsome, as you can see. Uh, of course. People like us. Yes. <laughs> but where is he from? He's from Ngo village. Ngo village. Emmanuel Lobidike. Yes, I knew him. I knew Emmanuel Lobidike. You know yes, him? Yes, I know him. Okay. He is the miner that has just uh, joined us last month. Yes, he's tall and handsome. <laughs> yes. Well, some of us are not so lucky to be handsome. <laughs> But uh, we are not worried about being ugly either. <laughs> and that is what you should prepare your mind for. Because uh, the miner you are looking for has just been carried to the sick bay. Yes. 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 There was a mine fall yesterday evening and he was involved in it. Please, where is the sick bay? I want to see him, please. Well, the sick bay is, if you move front, turn your right, the building that is just is facing you, Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for Emma. <laughs> Emma, tall, 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 tall and handsome. <laughs> Thanks I need from you now is for you to get well and get back to work. Ah, you have given me so much. You have offered me so much. I don't know. I don't deserve you. said anything wrong so what is it why are you crying you 
They smelt you. It's... It's me. I, I do not deserve you. I am the one who doesn't deserve you. You ran away from home because of me. But look at me now. What can I offer you? A broken body and a miserable life. I'm only a half man. Don't talk like that, Ima. You are everything I ever wanted and more. What happened to you is not your fault. I shouldn't be here. I, I have no right for all the love you have offered me. You do? No, Emma, I don't. I, I did not run away from home because of you. I would have been content to sit back in the village and wait for you. But I ran away because of what father would do to me after he found out. After he found out what? <laughs> Tell me. Whatever it is cannot be worse than what we have gone through. I'm pregnant. I ran away from home because I'm pregnant. Pregnant? You're pregnant. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, it's... It's not for you. Yes. He raped me. I don't know where to I don't know where to go to. I don't know who to turn to. <laughs> My mother could not manage to train me any longer, so I have to do something to take care of her. All the way from Ugo to this place. Why? So there's nothing in Ugo. It's a very small village. Then why didn't you go to the coal mines? That is where all the young men from Ugo run off to. I wanted to, sir, but after the mine collapsed and killed so many people, I decided to work in a safer place. If I die now, my, I will leave my mother with nothing. I'll leave her to suffer. You see, I need somebody who can add and subtract. This business is all about adding and removing. The last uh, boy I had here, but he didn't know the difference between blackboard and his mother's backside. It's all right. It's all right. I, I can write, sir. But I cannot pay you like they pay in the cold mines. But I know you have the opportunity to do something better for your life. Besides, I will not be here to supervise you. I work in the ministry. It's all right, sir. I can manage. Then, you can start tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. All right, then. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Good evening, Father. Good evening. Good evening, Father. How are you? How is your accommodation? 
I know it's not the best we can find right now, but it will do long till I talk to one of the parish members to take you in. Father, that is why we have come. My son has found a new job. Oh, that's interesting. And the owner of the place has also allowed him to make use of one of the houses. So we'll be moving in there. <laughs> Father, we have come to thank you for your kind gestures. Knowing that you are not from this part, you took us in. Give us a place to stay. Father, God bless you. Don't worry thank about that. It is not in our place to ask questions about the things that happen to us in our lives. If those in your house has rejected you, God in his infinite mercies has not. I pray that he leads you and takes you to wherever he has chosen that you'll be. Thank you, Father. Thank you. It's all right. The scripture says if any man is diligent in his works, he will eat with kings. God will multiply you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Go in peace. Thank you, Father. Idika, a good day to you. Uh, what brings you to my house this early? Uh, anyway, uh, I believe it is in order to offer you some cola nut and uh, water. My daughter ran away from home because she thought I would kill her since we found out that she is pregnant. Your daughter is pregnant? And I have no intention of harming her or the child. Idika, please permit me to ask why you have come to tell me. We gathered that she ran away to the miners' quarters to stay with your son. Um, wait. Are you saying that it was my son who got your daughter pregnant? I have not said that. But he is harboring a woman who is carrying another man's child. I want my daughter back. Tell your son before the hand of the monkey turns into the hand of a human being. my son. <coughs> He's at home. Come this way. Getting better. What happened? Um, Papa, it happened before I got here. The mine collapsed and he was on shift when it happened. 
I saw him in the hospital when I came. They said his spinal cord is affected. He doesn't even stand up anymore. Why didn't anybody come to tell us? Papa, I wanted to, but he wouldn't let me. And I, I can't leave him like this. <coughs> what have you done about that cough? Our fathers, these children will kill themselves. <laughs> My daughter, your father has been looking for you. He asks that you come home. I can't go, Papa. I can't leave him like this. He is all I have. You can and you will. You are pregnant for another man. In our culture, you cannot bear the seed of another man and water it in another man's farm. You will go home to your parents. As for our son, we will take care of him. Papa, Gozeka will not go anywhere. I also know that in our culture, you cannot ask for a woman's hand when she's pregnant. I will wait for her. When she delivers, then I will ask her hand from her father. Come to your senses, Emmanuel. What happens to the baby after delivery? Is it yours? Mama, we don't care. We'll take care of the child together. Look at yourself. Look at yourself, Emmanuel. You are not in any state to marry. As you are now, you cannot be a husband to any woman. Get well first. Papa, I am well enough. If Ngozeka did not come, I could have died. If she lives, I will not survive. It was God that brought us together. The same God will see us through. My friend, you don't have to be a fool. God does not work with nothing. You don't have anything and she doesn't have anything. We have ourselves. That is all God wants. And that is what we need. Hey! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, let us leave here first. We will all go home first. Then we... Papa, we are not going anywhere. This is our home for now. Mama. Mama. I told you. I told you that leaving that village is the best thing that will ever happen to us. Now see it. See how God is blessing us. What has happened again? My yoga. He has left the shop for me. You mean your guy left the shop for you? Hey, what are you writing about? Mama, listen. His ministry have, has transferred him to overseas. Obodo Ibo. And he said I can keep the shop if I want. You mean your guy said that? Mama, look at me now. I am a big man. Oh, oh God. Your name is exalted. Oh, Papa. <laughs> Mama, they will hear this in Ngo. Let Idika open his mouth again. And I will bury him in mourning. I say, I'll bury him. What's the matter? What's the matter? Don't you think that the time has come for you to go and bring that girl you keep in the family way? Oh. Am I if that is what is bothering you? Then you don't have any problems. By the time I load, carry lots of money to Dika's house. Mama, he will shut up his mouth. Mama. Yes. Did the doctor tell you how she's doing? He said that she will be alright. Hmm? You know she's a strong girl. The only problem is the tuberculosis. The doctor said that it has eaten deep into her. Don't worry my son. She'll be alright. Thank you, Mama. 
Mama, thank you for being here. Oh. Thank you, Mama. I should be thanking you for you being here for her. You see, if you have not taken her in, nobody would have done that. Knowing that the child is not ours, that is the special thing you have done, my son. I knew I had to be here. Mama, what about Ngozika's father, De Idika? My son, you know, Idika is a difficult man. Let's have the baby first, and other things will follow. Mr. Mambo, what about your mother-in-law? Doctor, she's not here yet. Can I be of help? No, 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 no. She's been delivered of a baby boy. Oh. Thank God, you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. But madam, we have a little problem. Problem? We lost her. <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> Doctor, what do you mean? Doctor, we do not understand you. There was nothing we could have done. She did not have enough strength to bring the baby out. She died when we were cutting her up. Hey, Ngozika, oh God. P. Achara, P. George 504. Mama, it's my own. I told you that one day I'm going to ride this car. You did not believe me. Now look at it. it with my mom. I didn't borrow it. My God is not asleep. I ah, know he's not. Uche. Hey! Beautiful house and lots of money. Uchenna, have you thought about the little girl you wrecked on the night? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I, I, I banged my head on the wall. And that is why you shouted like this. You frightened me. Eh? Mm. Mm. Mama, uh, 
you can go to sleep. I know you will sleep well. I'm all right. Outlaws where you can get. But have you stopped to think about the friend you will do? Or your child that cries somewhere with you? Afraid of that little girl. If you have done nothing wrong, then you have no reason to be afraid. But if you have, then you will never find peace. When did you say he last said anything meaningful? Doctor, it has been a very long time. I can't remember. We've gone everywhere over the years. We have done everything. We have spent all that we have, yet nothing has changed. It doesn't make any sense. He sits there looking at nothing. Our life is at an end. I do not know what else to do. Well, um, from what I can see, there's nothing wrong with him physically. All his vital signs are working as they should. Well, maybe you should um, take him somewhere else. Please, doctor, help me. He's the only one that I've left in this world. Um, uh, madam, I will ask you a question. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Mm, all right. And I think you should take him to God. You see, medicine only treats and cures. It's God alone that heals and restores. He has all the answers to all the questions that we have in life. And I'm sure he also has a spare part for every part that is damaged. Have a good day. Yes. Over the years that you stayed with us, we have continually prayed for you and your son. The scripture tells us that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He also tells us that he knows the thoughts and intents of our hearts. 
there is nothing in creation that is hidden from him. When you first came to me many years back, the voice of the Spirit did tell me that you were running away from a crime of injustice. Yes, that crime still follows you. Over the years, it has followed you and your son, and I tell you, it will eventually kill you. <laughs> Except he goes and does penance. The home father. The home. What will I do? <laughs> All he has made has been wasted in the presence of care. <laughs> father, I warned him. I warned him, but he never listened. <laughs> He never listen, Father. <laughs> Restitution is difficult to pay, but pay we must. That is the only way out. That is the only way forgiveness can be complete. That is the only way restoration can begin. Take him back to where you come from, to the land of his forbears. Let him present himself before those he has wronged and ask for forgiveness. The God I know will certainly have mercy on him. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, Chico. You are the eldest, so you take first. Excuse me, you have made a mistake. What mistake? We are two of you and you share an impulses of me and ask me what, what mistake? Where is the mistake in that? Where is the mistake in that? There are supposed to be only 11 portions. 11 what? 11 portions. Yes. They just gave all this to me to share. They didn't mention names. They said we should share the equal. Yes. Then? And they gave it to the sons of the land who are our age grades. Yes. yes. Sons of the what? Sons of the land. Mm -hmm. There is someone here. He is not the son of the land. <laughs> Has it ever occurred to you that Idika and Ugodia are too old to have a son your age? Yes. Yes. Fuck. Don't yes. you think it's time oh, my one. you ask questions about who your real father and mother are? <laughs> <laughs> My son, what they said is true. I am not your father. Your mother was my daughter. Was? Was. <sighs> she died several years ago. On the day you were born. We have tried to forget. And we have also tried to keep the truth from you since. Why? Sometimes the truth is too hard to tell. Uh, tell me. Tell me. I, I need the truth. That is how you tell me the truth. Right? <sighs> Your mother was raped by a boy in this village. A boy who got her pregnant and refused to marry her. I decided to deal with him and his family. Maybe after today, your son would have made up his mind. He has made up his mind. Where is he? He has gone out. 
when he comes back, first we remind him. A grave mistake I made. Your father, after that incident, ran away from the village and has never been seen since then. Your mother also ran away to join a man he has always wanted to marry. It was in his house that you were born, at the coal miners' quarters. He was injured in the coal mine accident that killed 52 people and led to the coal miners' riot. He is still alive, but bedridden. The gods have never been kind to him. He is your dear Emmanuel. Dear Emmanuel. I have lived a life of violence, a life that has brought too much pain to too many people. Every day I ask the gods for forgiveness. When your mother died, we brought you back home to live with us. You are my son. That's how it has always been. And that's how it will always be. I do not know my son. But we will start the search tomorrow morning if he is still alive. If we don't find him, my son will run away from the village. Eyes of the ones. What do we do? From where do we begin? Begin from your house. My house? Yes. And your search will be over. Before it begins, go back home. The gods will tell you what to do. Hey, mighty one, riddles are not for tired minds. Do as the gods say. The mistress will be revealed. Okay, go back on it. You. <laughs> Daughter of our land, I greet you. Over the years, over the years, my voice has cried out for you. <laughs> we all have had our best. <laughs> Sit 
thank God you met me at life. I'm happy to meet you at life. <laughs> My daughter died. Which I have been seen for quite a long time. <laughs> oh, be dear. Nayidika. Nayidika. I agree to. <sighs> <laughs> The riddle is revealed. <laughs> is ah. it that we seek? <laughs> Me? Yes. My son and I. I seek him too. <laughs> his life has been in danger. He was told that he must come here and do penance for his sin. <laughs> he has paid enough. We have all made our mistakes. And the gods have punished us enough. There is your son. Your father. What do you? Father. Son? Father. Son! Father! 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 I know that my eyes are still in a good condition. Is that not Obidi and her son? It is mine. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hey, man. Papa, 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 the guy is fine. Emma, hey, thank you. Now I know. Been a very good friend, and I could never have another word. <laughs> God has been good to us. We we'll start all over again. I will be all that is damaged. I will build all that we have lost, you and I. I promise from today. Any money I make, half belongs to you. I make a vow. I make a vow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love I talk, man I love is Love, 